Imagine living just minutes away from one of the seven natural wonders of the world. It would be any photographer's dream. But Kat Goldwarg, who has called Niagara Falls her home for the past nine years, instead chose to stick very close to home during the pandemic, not wanting to be part of the problem. So she found things to take photos of in her own neighborhood. You'll notice they're mainly in this area near my house at this time because I don't want to contribute to any type of crowding. You know where the waterfalls are. And she learned that you don't have to venture far to capture the most amazing photos. In fact, it was a close-up shot of a simple pine cone that garnered attention from Canadian Geographic. I had entered a photo contest for Canadian Geographic, the 2020 annual photo contest. And I was a finalist for that contest and it was a close-up for macro photography of a pine cone that fell off of my neighbor's tree in our, the backyard here. I brought it inside and I took photos and I submitted it. Another photo of tulips covered in snow in her neighbor's garden had accolades coming her way as well. An April snowfall had covered all of the new blossoms. Again, she submitted her picture to the magazine. My photo became photo of the week and uh, later photo of the month. So for April, the tulips in snow, very Canadian. Right? <laughs> the shots of the moon she's been experimenting with? Well, Kat didn't even have to leave the house for those. A combination of the pandemic and the weather. So I have Celestron 1050 binoculars with an adapter where I put my cell phone on it. And so that's what I used out my window. And most of my moon photos were out my window as well. Um, so screen up, of course, um, but it just becomes a nice comfortable area to Again, with the COVID situation, you don't want to be wandering around. So and also in January, weather-wise, it's nice to be <laughs> in your home. The Quebec native lives only steps from the Niagara River and never tires of the gorge or the intensity of the rapids. There's always that moment where you walk up and you lay eyes on the water. And still to this day, I'll gasp, wow. <laughs> From rushing water, to local birds, to the crescent moon. Kat wants to keep learning and practicing her craft. She sees that others are inspired by what she's doing and is flattered when they try to do the same. Whatever comes out of it is wonderful, but it seems to be organic that way. And now that restrictions have eased, she's getting out beyond her backyard. So if your next trip is to Niagara Falls, you just might see Kat Goldwerg looking through her lens among the tourists.